Greetings to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, and all of you are welcome to my new broadcasting of In the Secret Place. We are in Psalm 13. This is your pastor, Yadi. In our reflection for today, it is overcoming depression, and the key verse for today is Psalm 13, verse 1. How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long? Will you hide your face from me? All of us go through times of discouragement and despair. If this is not, then you don't face the reality of your life. It may be when plans go awry and we feel out of control. It may be due to a debilitating accident or illness or a financial setback when the bills pile up. It may come due to a conflict with a friend or colleague or maybe strained relationships within the family. We all go through times of self-doubt and cease to find joy and fulfillment in our works or daily tasks. Whatever the reason, and we may not be able to put our finger on it, we feel abandoned by God. The joy of intimacy that comes from a close walk with Him and the sense of His presence are gone. Even our efforts at Bible study and prayer seem empty. Four times in Psalm 13, the psalmist cries out, How long, Lord? How long, O Lord? How long will you forget me? How long will you hide your face so that I don't sense the reality of your presence and blessing? How long must I grovel in the sorrow and agony of soul-searching, feeling sorry for myself and finding no answer? And there always seems to be a cause, someone, something, or some circumstances that is not right as if an enemy is overpowering us. Our plea to God is appropriated. We must get beyond the personal struggle of trying to work through our problems ourselves. We must avoid those futile efforts to generate feelings of victory through mental attempts of denying reality. We must be transparent and acknowledge our need and then recognize that God is the answer. Be honest with Him and relinquish relinquish the problems to Him, casting all your anxiety upon Him, because if He cares for you, He cares for you. Confess Him as your Lord and your God. Believe that He wants to enlighten our eyes to see Him in all His glory. He is not blessed and glorified when we are going through the truths of depression as if we might die. There is no benefit to Him when we are shaken by our adversaries and overcome by our enemies or worry and anxiety. Victory and release comes from and through trusting in God's mercy and loving kindness and rejoicing in the salvation God has given us. Victory comes through singing to the Lord, confident that He deals with us in compassion, as Paul expressed it, exceedingly, abundantly beyond all we could ask 
or think. And Hebrews says, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the convictions of things not seen. We must believe and trust God in spite of all evidence to the contrary, not because of what we feel and experience, but because of His nature and character. Nothing can take our salvation from us. Our security is in Christ. We may go through the valley, but must never cease to rejoice in His salvation. And finally, singing to the Lord will bring the ultimate victory because God delights in the praises of His people. He will manifest His presence and restore the joy when we thank Him and praise Him in all things. My beautiful people, I'm not using easy words. Because as we looked in the beginning of our reflection, we really go through this. And I say it again, if a person says, well, not for me, I, I, I'm always. I believe that you can have a good mood and feeling joyful and feeling abundant, blessed and whatever. Fill it in. But the reality faces also that we go through sufferings and trials and disappointments and all that. What we face here today is how do we accomplish it? Are we putting the blame to God? And there we go wrong. It is not God that is using words through our friends to hurt us. No. It is not that God giving thoughts to another person to think about that we do some things wrong or, or you no know, no fill it in and here is also no judgment in we go through this reflection to face our own reality and to see that there is joy when we're singing there is joy when we start praying when our heart is failing to pray rest if you have no words rest And trust in the Lord. And don't lean on your own understanding. The reality is, we go through all this. And it's sad to say that some people go through a lot. Let us pray. Lord, in times of discouragement and depression, when I feel rejected, Hear my prayer and reveal yourself to me. Don't allow me to succumb to doubting your faithfulness regardless of the circumstances, but guide me always to trust your loving kindness. I will rejoice in the salvation you have given me and will sing praises to you, my Lord and my God. Amen. May God bless your heart, my dear ones. And may you find peace within. This is your Pastor Yadi. Bye.